Hey everybody, good morning. Uh, I'm super excited for today because I'm finally gonna do my top 10 video. Uh, if you've been watching me for a while, then you'll know that I order quite a lot of fabric. So an average week is anywhere from three to $500. Um, over the last two weeks, I ordered about a thousand bucks, which is a little, little too much. I got a little carried away, a few too many mojitos, but um, it was still fun and I managed to pay it off. So it worked out all right. But, um, this week I only spent a whopping $210. I don't know if hell's frozen over or what, but that's some kind of miracle. Um, anyways, if you're just starting out and you're trying to figure out what to invest in and you don't have quite as much money, um, to just buy a hunk of fabric, um, I'm going to let you know what my top 10 best sellers are. And we're going to start at the back. So this was probably one of the very first things I ordered was, um, butterflies. There's so many people that love butterflies, but I would say number 10 would be wildlife in general with birds and butterflies being the top two most popular. I've sold um, a lot of bird prints in general, but flamingos for sure are a safe bet, especially if it's got kind of a summery, beachy kind of feel. People really like that. Um, and as far as butterflies go, just about any butterflies are good, but I would say this has probably been my least selling butterfly. I love this kind of khaki natural look. To me, it looks like a botanical print, but I would say the ones that are brighter in color or rainbow color, you know, or have the butterflies kind of more naturally flying around have sold better than this. So if you're looking for butterflies, look for something, you know, like bright and rainbowy. You know, again, this still sells well, but it's not as well as some of my other butterflies. So um, number nine, at least in my area, because I live very close to a Marine Corps base, would be military prints. But I would also include in here not just the branches of the military, but also if you see a print that has like nurses emblems or EMT too, that's another one. But um, I've got, I sell mostly Marine Corps with Army in second place, then Navy. And I've had a few requests for Air Force and I've had absolutely no requests for Coast Guard. So um, if you want to try to cover all the bases, you could, I would recommend buying, at least in my area, you know, or if you live close to a Marine Corps base or a Navy base, buy a full yard, maybe even two of whatever, you know, branch of the military is closest to you. And, you know, like I'm probably going to end up buying like a quarter of a yard of Coast Guard fabric and maybe a half a yard of Air Force because I don't want to invest a ton of money in those if I'm not getting any requests for them. But I've, I've probably already gone through at least five yards of Marine Corps fabric. So that's a safe buy for me. Um, after military would be pets, meaning cats and dogs. I'd say cats over dogs. I've sold out of almost every single cat print I've had, no matter what it looked like. Um, as we all know, there's lots of crazy cat ladies out there and they, and I, I've had cat ladies who've come and bought one of every single type of cat print that I have. Um, a dog print does really well and most especially this kind of, I've had several different ones that are like this with black and then rainbow. I've had ones that said like, I love my dog. Um, anything that is this black with rainbow um, does really well. Um, one thing to keep in mind though with, with animal prints like or pet prints is you don't want the image to be too big. This is about as max as I would go. I had some adorable dog fabric but when it got here the image was way bigger so by the time I make it into a mask and fold it down even though it's still cute people when it's hanging up they can't tell what it is. It just looks like a mismatch of colors. Um, let's see, after pets would be anything skulls or tattoos. I've had a lot of tattoo prints, you know, that has skulls on it too. They kind of appeal to the same people. Um, I don't have any tattoo print left to show you, um, but just skulls in general. And I mean, I've got all different kinds, like especially black and white skulls, men, bikers. Um, a lot of people really just like this. I, I also, not keeping the print too large, you know. Um, Sugar skulls are really popular with women. I've had this um, in red also, and it sold. I sold probably twice as many of the red background than the black, just because I think it was unique. Um, you know, this one's more tattoo-y. It's got the banners and the roses, and it's very cool, but the trick with this one is, again, the print is very large, so if the mask isn't cut a certain way, they can't always tell what it is. 
Uh, and this one, again, this is not not skulls per se. It's actually skeletons. This is an Alexander Henry one. Um, and they're like drinking at a bar. I have sold a ton of this. Again, it's black and white. So if you're looking at skulls and you're not sure which ones to order, I'd lean towards, uh, if you can only pick one, I'd lean towards something like these that is more black and white. Because people who are drawn to skulls tend to a lot of times wear darker colors, you know? And if you can only get two, then get one that's bright and colorful like sugar skulls and one that's the complete opposite that's, you know, more masculine. Um, here's one more that I just wanted to show you because it's cool. <clears throat> It's, uh, it's like a Day of the Dead one, which is fun. But again, same thing. When you're cutting fabrics like this, if you don't cut it so that they can actually see the design, all they're gonna see is flowers and fireworks, <clears throat> which may appeal to some people, but not everybody. Okay, let's see. After Skulls, the number one color that I get requested for, if you could only buy one bright color, buy purple. Purple, purple, purple. It doesn't even matter if it's boring purple. I've had some pretty dull purple. I've, this is an ombre, so it gets very dark. Um, I, I highly recommend buying something like this. This is a Stonehenge um, by Northcott Fabrics, and it's an ombre, and this is a 108, so it's extra wide, so I get way more on it. And I have this whole variation of colors, so I can cut 10 different masks out of this, and no two masks are the same, and they're all purple. Um, I have found that purple and cat ladies tend to go hand in hand. Um, okay, the next one would be licensed fabric. The top two um, licensed fabrics that I have sold the most of would be Star Wars and um, Marvel Comics. Um, you know, DC Comics sells well too, um, but definitely the comic books and Star Wars for adults. Um, are hands down my top two licensed seller. I've also done pretty well with Spongebob and I just this week got emojis and they were thank you to one of my viewers who recommended that um, and they've been really popular too. So these aren't going to be the cheapest fabrics for you to buy. You're going to pay a little bit more um, you know and, but I would say at least if you can afford it having a couple of these in the mix is a great idea. All right, let's see. Oh, so the next would be black. Plain, uh, uh, black, 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 not just for adults, but a lot of teenagers want black too. There are several people that for their work um, are required to have not just black, but solid black. So they can't even have, this again is the same Stonehenge ombre. This is just in a black gray variation. But the reason I like this is because I can cut a solid black from this end. And then we've got some of this more textured, you know, darker black gray in the middle, which is very nice. Like I've had uh, people who are looking for masks to wear to church and I'll recommend um, the gray because it's soft, it's subtle, it's, it's kind of got a classy look to it, you know, and um, it's a really good alternative to just solid black. Um, but definitely you've got to have black and as close to solid as you can get is good. Um, the reason, like I said, buying the ombre is great because instead of having to buy a gray, um, a black with texture, and then a solid black, you've got all three in one piece. And these were purchased from Quilting by Rita, who if you've watched my videos, I've mentioned her several times. Um, the other thing that I would say with black is, uh, this one is what I would call a black variant you know, people that are still looking for, they like dark colors, you know, they, they don't wear a lot of, you know, bright colors, they wear black and white, um, they may not necessarily need the black mask for work. A lot of people come in looking for a black mask, and I will recommend this, and what I always say is, um, it is neutral without being boring, you know, it has some personality to it, or some texture to it, and those are a lot of the words that I use. This one is called um, Splash. It's also a 108, you know, quilt backing. So again, you get a ton for your money. Um, now, this would be the top three best sellers. So um, number three would be American Flags. This also was purchased by Quilting by Rita. This is by far my favorite um, American flag print. I mean, there's all kinds of really cool Americana stuff. I've gotten eagles, I've gotten different kind of stars and stripes things. Um, but if it has 
the flag itself that is very popular um you know i sold a ton of these during july 4th but i mean i sell a ton of these every week um military people like this just regular old you know lots of people love this stuff republicans love american flags and surprisingly i've sold a ton of american flags to immigrants which that was you know a big surprise to me so it's cool you know um this one's really pretty I like um, that it's really flowy. It's not just a straight flat flag. It looks great when it's pleated. And um, when people are driving by, they can see this. This is a recognizable print that they'll see and they'll stop and they'll come um, to purchase. Um, if you can find it in 108, that's great because you're just, <laughs> I should say, 108 is great. 108 is always great. And we'll keep remembering that. Um, oh, okay, so another, this would be number two, and this is something else that people, when they drive by, they see it, they stop, they turn around, and that would be the sports team's fabric, which, again, you've heard me say it a thousand times, not cheap, but worth having if you can afford it. Um, you know, obviously your local team is probably going to sell the best. I live in Virginia, and my top two sellers, of course, are Redskins and Cowboys. I may have even sold more Cowboys than Redskins, but that's a funny thing about Virginia is uh, there's so many people here that love to hate the home team. So we, <laughs> we have a lot of Cowboys fans here, and ironically, almost none of them have lived in Texas, so go figure. But I would say my top selling, top selling football teams have been Cowboys, Redskins, Steelers, and probably Giants coming in after that. I've sold a lot of Patriots, too. Um, and then for baseball, I ordered a lot of baseball. I ordered... Um, Nationals, Yankees, Braves, Orioles, I'm sure there's probably a few others in there. And honestly, I've sold maybe three or four Yankees masks and everything else has been Nats. Just Nats, Nats, Nats. I sell five Nationals masks for any, any Yankees mask any day. That brings us to our number one seller and this is also Splash, um, also purchased from Quilting by Rita also great 108 and i've sold this to little in every size little kids medium and adult it goes like crazy i can't make enough of them I, every week i make probably six or seven sometimes eight of these and every week i sell almost every single one and um, it's like the ombre in that i can cut a whole different pile of masks out of this and no two are the same um, everybody just anytime someone's looking and they're not sure what they want I recommend this and they're always just like oh that's pretty that's perfect or if they're looking for their teenage daughter and they're not sure it's the same thing they're like oh she'll love this I mean how can you not it's so beautiful all right so that's my top 10 um, I should mention that I have not made any mass out of my new cuss words fabrics that I got from Spoonflower this one says fuck this shit and this one says uh, fuck this all over it. Um, I tried to make sure I had some for men and some for women. I have a feeling this stuff is going to sell like crazy. I posted a couple of pictures of it on my Instagram and my Facebook last night and I had a slew of comments like I want one. I want this one, this one, this one, this one. So I ordered like eight different prints that had cuss words on them. and. Um, they're not in my top 10 list because I haven't put them in my booth yet, but I have a feeling that they will be climbing the charts fairly quickly.